everyone. Welcome back to Bella Plays. Today we're diving into The Sims 4 for a brand new building adventure. We're starting from scratch and designing an amazing house together. So buckle up and let's get creative. Thank you so much, ChatGPT, for that awesome introduction. Yeah, and he is right. Today we are going to be building a house, but I am going to use ChatGPT's expertise in knowledge for this house today. Uh, Don't interrupt. Sounds like you're going to dive into how ChatGPT's expertise <laughs> will help with the house building. What specific yeah. areas would you like to focus on with my help? Well, first off, Chat. Oh, God. <laughs> well, first off, Chat GPT, I would like to refer to you as Bob. Is that okay? Absolutely. You can call me Bob. How can Bob help with the house build today? Okay, listen. So I really want you to give me a building style for the exterior of our house today. How about a sleek, modern style for the exterior? Think clean lines, large windows, and a mix of materials like stone and glass. It's stylish and gives a fresh, contemporary look. What do you think? I think that is absolutely perfect. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, so we're going to be building modern as our AI friend suggested to us. We are definitely going to do that. And I'm so happy they suggested, you know, modern because it's one of the building styles I'm actually all right at doing. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm not sure about this front part over here, but I want to try something new. Just give me a little second over here. No, I do not like the idea of this at all. I'm just going to take this whole idea away and just try something else maybe all right then i'm gonna add an extra little room over here all right i think that's a pretty good shape for our house so far okay you know i think this can definitely go for modern okay and bob over here also suggested that we go with stone so maybe we can place our house on a little foundation i am hoping that we have a stone very similar to that foundation stone like that would be nice to have is this similar this is most similar to that i think oh that's gorgeous i love that okay um so this is the main house which means or the main room of the house i suppose the central point of it that's gonna be stone and inside here can be stone as well maybe i'll sleep on that i'm not sure black roof uh, what's i going for? wait maybe how about a metal roof metal roofing and stone work i don't know how well that fits together although these ones work better better so we can go with a black roof trim not sure if i'm gonna go for this thick ass trim but i suppose it can work a little bit of glassature going on over there <laughs> with the roof up here it really is a small feature but it is something and i kind of like it we can use this chimney thingy over here uh we can have this over here if i enlarge this it's way too big so we're gonna keep it at its normal size okay before i place any windows i gotta figure out the interior real quick okay so this could be a one bedroom two bedroom maybe hmm, maybe just a one bedroom so our fireplace are gonna be here which means our living room is gonna be over there our kitchen can maybe be here somewhere in a way over here can be a little bathroom this can be a bedroom we're gonna extend this bedroom over here this can be a dining slash no this is not gonna be a dining slash this is gonna be the whole kitchen area over here and this can be a dining area and over here the living room which means we're gonna have a fireplace in this area here we can go in for a lovely modern fireplace but not too modern i want it to be a little bit oldish looking as well glass door but the thing is it's got to be a large glass door and large glass windows all right oh this is perfect oh my gosh the placement of that just gives me serotonin oh that's gorgeous all righty do prachtig all righty do i think that is beautiful Beautiful window placements right there. Okay, maybe a singular one over here. Now, I'm also going to ask ChatGPT to help us with the exterior in terms of how to decorate it. But I think first off, we're going to jump into the interior. You know, this bathroom is actually a little bit small, but actually it's not. So it's fine. Okay, let's go over to ChatGPT, aka Bob, to give us a beautiful little theme for our living room. All right, Bob. Um, so I have finished the layout of our house. I actually wish you could see it, you know, although you are a... AI, but I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, so our living room has a fireplace. Do you have any suggestions as to what we can do with the interior in terms of color or style? Like, you know, our house is modern, but maybe we can mix it with a different style. That sounds great. For a modern house, you might want to consider mixing in some mid-century modern elements. 
palettes. You could use a neutral color palette like whites, grays, and beiges for the walls and larger furniture. Add pops of color with accent pieces like throw pillows or rugs in bold colors like teal or mustard. For the fireplace area, a sleek stone or tile can add texture, while mid-century style furniture could give a cozy retro touch. Nice. How does that sound? That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have fun decorating your house. All right. So stone behind our fireplace. We can have biggish furniture, as they said. Whites, beiges. So I already placed the stone behind here. And on this side, I think I'm going to go in for a plain color. I think this color is actually pretty good. Maybe we should get some lights in here first. So Bob, you said that we have to use larger type of furniture. Do you have any uh, suggestions on what colors we can use for the furniture? For sofas in a modern home, neutral colors like gray, beige, or white are classic choices. If you want to add some contrast, you could go with a deep navy blue, rich charcoal, or even a warm mustard. Thank you so much. That was, yeah, that was, that was just awesome. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you need anything else just let me know yeah okay so that was actually just you know common sense you know what they told us what colors to use for everything but i mean it's just a very good explanation that like i love the idea of navy blue charcoal black beiges whites oh my gosh this is amazing i am not used to these kind of things okay people like this is totally new to me i was very excited over the idea and i am very much enjoying this so yeah anyway maybe we should use this same sofa but singular ones dream home decorator come through for me please we don't want to limit any walking space so we can scooch this back no that's a little bit still too much in the way of walking this one can be here i always come back to this color i don't know why i just freaking love it but i'm gonna go with what chat gpt suggests aka bob okay i don't think i need to say that all the time but you get what i mean okay so i'm pretty sure they're gonna say the same thing on curtain so we're gonna go in for maybe a beige curtain all right so you gave us the color suggestions for our furniture and stuff i would just like to ask you in terms of rugs should we go colorful or with something that still suits the rest of the furniture and the walls for rugs you could go either way depending on the look you want if you prefer something that suits the furniture and walls stick with a neutral or muted rug that complements your color scheme if you want to add a pop of personality, a colorful rug can be a great way to introduce a bold pattern or accent color. It's all about what feels right for your space. Brilliant. And in terms of paintings? Um, for paintings, you can choose pieces that reflect your style. Abstract art or black and white photography works mm. well with modern interiors. All right. Uh, if you're mixing styles, you might select artwork with bold colors or interesting textures to add character. Just make sure the pieces fit with the overall color scheme and mood of the room. Oh, I think I would love to go with this painting over here. Like they said, we can go bold with colors. And I think this is still neutral enough in a way, but it also stands out in color, which I really like. Oh, and we do have different swatches. Oh, this is, this is nice. Oh, that's beautiful. It has a little bit of pink in it as well. All right, that's gorgeous. Um, So we're gonna add some plants here. I'm just gonna do the minor general decorating of this room real quick and then we can move on to the next room. Move this couch just a smidgen in the middle over here. We're gonna use a nice wooden coffee table. Oh, here's a new table from Lovestruck and here's a new coffee table from Lovestruck as well. I kind of like this, but it's a little bit too old school in a way, but I still think it would fit best or good in this setting, but we can still look at something like this, maybe a glass table with some engravings on the sides. Like that is actually pretty nice, but I'm still not sure about that. So this is actually pretty cool. All right. So we have basically the same wood color there and basically the same wood color over here, but with different back pillows like or cushions i think that's actually very nice all right did you you know this is maybe not the best living room it's very minimalistic in a way but i think it's good enough anyway so we can maybe go over to the kitchen now so bob we're gonna go over to the kitchen now do you have any ideas for the style colors whatever whatever for our kitchen for a modern kitchen you might go with sleek minimalist designs mm. use clean lines and high gloss finishes for cabinetry for nice. colors a classic combination is white or light gray cabinets with black or dark countertops you can add a splash of color with a bold backsplash or kitchen accessories stainless steel appliances and open shelving can also enhance the modern look <laughs> i'm glad you enjoyed it um if you need anything else or just want to chat more i'm here 
Nah, I didn't say anything. I just said awesome. Anyway, so our kitchen has some metallic look to it i think i think this is metallic i'm not sure but we have some white we have some black but our cabinets i decided to make wooden do you think that's awesome that sounds like a great mix uh combining metallic finishes with wooden cabinets can create a stylish and sophisticated look the contrast between the sleek modern metallic elements and the warmth of the wood can add both texture and character to your kitchen uh it's definitely a unique and appealing choice Alrighty do so hmm I decided to move some of the stuff oh wait that's that that's actually an idea <laughs> oh wait oh wait I wanted to change this cabinet over here to one of the corner pieces today I feel like a genius and I think it's literally because of AI <laughs> I don't want to say it's because of AI because, you know, I am a person with my own unique thoughts, my own decisions and, you know, my own creativity. So, but yeah, it's just actually fun to play and build with chat GPT on your side. Anyway, I'm not using that sink. That sink is horrendous. I hate it. Why? Because it looks like a little face smiling at you like a frog with a massive mouth i do not like it oh and it has a squidward nose i don't like it you know in future packs i really hope they bring out this but the trash version of it like you can throw your trash in there brilliante i think our kitchen is maybe not ex exactly finished we could maybe add something here you know like knives i would love to use the knives okay well here we have our knives and i think somewhere else we can have a fruit bowl maybe we can have the fruit bowl on our dining table oh my gosh this is not working is it yeah i think we can do something with this nook over here just give me a sec brilliant Oh, and before we go back to chat GPT and their expert advice, I just like to get some doors in here first. All right, so wait, this bin, yeah, this bin is <laughs> not working for me right now. Maybe just here on an angle. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on that, okay? So, um, Bob, so we finished our kitchen. I believe it is pretty good and according to your advice. Okay, so we're going on to the dining room area now. What do you think, which colors we should use there? For the dining room, you could continue with the modern theme by using complementary colors. Of course, modern. Since you've got a mix of white, black, and wood in the kitchen, consider using neutral tones like soft grays or beige for the dining room. You might also add accents in bold colors or metallics to tie in with the kitchen's metallic look. All the right. Dining room rug or artwork in these colors can help bring the space together. But do you think we can add maybe a splash of color? No, sorry, a splash. I mean to say splash of color, um, like red or something that stands out. And also, do you think our dining table should be wooden or metallic? A splash of color like red can definitely add vibrancy and make the space feel more lively. It could be great for accents like a centerpiece, chairs, or wall art. For the dining table, a wooden table can complement the warm tones in your kitchen and dining area. However, if you want a more cohesive, modern look, a metallic table could tie in nicely with elements from the kitchen. It really depends on the overall feel you want for the space. True, true that. Alrighty, do so. I'm gonna go with this red carpet. I am a big fan of this carpet. It's very, very nice and fluffy. We we need more big fluffy rugs. So warm colors, not warm colors, but you know the warmness of the kitchen. You know the wood accents. It's definitely a good idea to go with a wooden long table. We can go in for beiges again. We don't want to go too overly crazy with only beige, blacks, and whites. That's why I'm mixing it up with a few different colors now and then as well but these are absolutely perfect you know they're beige-ish beige white beige and they they work nicely now we don't need a massive dining table because we only have one bedroom in this house but you know visitors are something that exists okay and this family living here can maybe be you know the type to host parties and stuff which means we can add a bar a bar is actually a brilliant idea let's take away these chairs now, I know that was not chat GPT's suggestion, but, you know, let's ask them. So, Bob, do you think it will be a good idea to add a mini bar into this dining room area? Because the family living here could be the type to love hosting parties and stuff. What do you think? A mini bar would be a fantastic addition if the family enjoys hosting. Woohoo! It's practical and adds a touch of elegance. You can design it to match the dining room's style with a sleek modern look or a more classic feel, depending on what fits best. It'll definitely make 
the space more functional and stylish for entertaining guests. I'm glad you like the idea too. You're welcome. Uh, I think it's a great idea. So yeah, I'm thinking about this one over here. I mean, this is stone, really meant for outside. So we're gonna use this outside somewhere, but we're still gonna have a mini bar inside. We're gonna continue this wall paint along there. I'm just gonna hold in shift. That's just annoying. Okay, okay, that's gorgeous. Okay, window, I mean, curtain wise, let's go for these guys again. You know, the white doesn't look too bad, but I liked the beige more. We can put one over here as well. No harm in that. And in terms of paintings, you know, I would love to use this painting again, but the other swatch. Oh yes, now that is giving love struck all right but this house is not based off of love struck though just just know that anyway so we're gonna go wait are we finished yes i think we are kind of finished because we don't want to over clutter the place over here because you know there's the entrance part unless you can switch this yeah okay beautiful here's the entrance part and here is the little thingy majigi over here we can place maybe a plant you know no harm done in placing plants at least place a hanging plant all right chat gpt we are in the bathroom now so this is a very small bathroom in terms of color schemes what do you think we can use here for a small bathroom lighter colors can help make the space feel larger and more open consider using soft shades like light gray pale blue or white um, to add some interest you could use a slightly darker shade for accents or tiles incorporating mirrors can also help create a sense of more space for a touch of personality, you might add a small pop of color with accessories like towels or a shower curtain. Oh, okay. I really like that idea. You know, light blues. And I actually honestly forgot the other things you said, <laughs> but I will, I will eventually remember. All right. So we can have some soft blues, I think he said. Soft blues, soft colors. Like, I mean, this could actually work, I suppose. Okay, maybe not with this. I know there's a boo-boo on that side. I will, I will fix that soon. Light blue. Do we actually have good light blue tiles and we're also going to be making use of well mirrors you know like they said to create a larger looking space or to make it appear larger than it is because this is a small bathroom and bob took that into consideration which is pretty awesome ai is so good nowadays it actually fucking scares me i'm not gonna lie so over here we can have a bath now wait they said something about a shower so we're gonna go with a shower you know because ai said so wait you know, before I continue, I would actually like to paint my ceiling first. I think that's a good idea, okay? Like, I always forget about it. There's no ceiling here. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go with dark... No, let's go with black over here and there. Wherever there's a ceiling, I'm just gonna... But wait, how does this look now? Like, what? All right, okay. Let's do this. Oh, it's open. No, it shouldn't be open. Oh my gosh. Um, is there a way I can fix this? No, it's gonna look so terrible when we do the walkthrough of the house. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay, so all I need to do now is just take away these walls. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We have fixed it. Okay, what's happening over here? All right, brilliante. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit too big. I knew there was something off about this roof. Alrighty, dude, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. So is it fixed now? Oh my god. Is it fixed now? No, it's not. Oh my god. You know what? I am just gonna try and ignore that then. Such a waste of time just now, but I can't. Luckily, it didn't take up my whole day. Otherwise, I would have been pissed. Okay, if that took a lot of time to fix, even though it didn't fix anything. Ah, uh, no. I'm not one for wasting time. And mirrors, as they suggested, is very, very nice to use. We can use this one. But on this side, we're gonna use larger mirrors to create that big looking feeling or the feeling that a small room is actually expanded into something bigger yeah i should do that more often <laughs> great stuff okay on to the main bedroom before we ask bob anything i just really want to see if a double bed will fit into this house you know i mean this room yeah okay perfect it will fit okay bob we are back to asking you some stuff okay <laughs> so how is our main bedroom gonna look like now this is actually gonna be the only bedroom in this house because yeah it's not a very big house but what color schemes do you think we shall use for this bedroom for the main bedroom 
consider using calming and soothing colors to create a relaxing atmosphere. Soft tones like light blues, muted greens, or gentle grays work well. Uh, if you want a cozier feel, warm neutrals like beige or taupe can also be great, great choices. Um, adding some accent colors with bedding or artwork can make the space feel personal and inviting. You know, I could have thought that up myself, but the way AI just described that was just so deep and personal for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, soft colors definitely give it the feeling of it being relaxing. Yeah, I know soft colors generally have this, I think, psychological impact on you, if that's even the right term. I'm sorry if it's not. That it calms you down. Whoa, this does not calm me down. This, this kind of gets me in the mood. Um, no. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. All right. I still want to make this room unisex. You know, I still want female sims and male sims like not care about the colors I'm using, basically. You know what I mean? I know this is the sims we're playing. Like, it doesn't really matter what you use. Your sims will like anything you use. But as a realistic player, I like to keep different genders in consideration because there's only one bedroom. You understand? Only one bedroom. It's got to be gender neutral put into side tables there okay wait not the pink walls and definitely also not the beige walls although this is not really beige this is like yogurt yellow if i can put it that way now i don't want to use the same wallpaper that we have in the whole rest of the house we could maybe use this yeah that's all right that is all right and then in terms of curtains we can just go with these beautiful incredible sheer curtains which i wish would just lift up a little bit for us it doesn't want to okay now you do but there you don't because you're clear you're such a freaking bitch right now yeah <laughs> hmm fine be like that it's all right maybe i can bypass you somehow no i'm not feeling it maybe something with a darker rod you know as in black but the black is not really inviting and relaxing is it you know a dark room is relaxing but we don't want to use dark colors in this bedroom do we now no we don't okay let's put the same ones oh now you're above the window uh rim over there or or the frame <laughs> that's just so unfair like why that didn't work here is it because i have a different i don't have a different window i do have a different window oh that plays oh <gasps> see now it's doing that come on do that for mommy come on do it on the other side please please big daddy there we go beautiful <laughs> You gotta put your foot down with this game sometimes. Um, oh lordy, here we go again. Please, big daddy, please. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. No, we're not gonna cry. We're not that weak. One of these curtains. No, doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to... <clears throat> if you don't want to clip to the top part, at least allow me to alt you. Or to lift you up or something via the keyboard. Like, oh my gosh. But maybe we can do something else here that will make us feel a little bit better about ourselves, you know. So we can have a lovely big wardrobe over here. This is my favorite wardrobe in this whole godforsaken game. And it is from high school years. Now, high school years really brought in... Oh, it's supposed to be a mushroom. Okay, you know, sorry, I just saw something else and that's just, you know, not child-friendly at all. Which this channel is not, okay? I know I might have said it a little bit too late in the video, but just so you know, don't tell your kids about this channel, okay? We can have a lovely rug in here, perhaps something that's a little bit pinkish. Pinkies and the brainish? No. Ooh, now this. It's actually kind of gorgeous, don't you think? Oh, I think it's absolutely lovely. Don't worry, we will get back to Bob in a minute. I just want to quickly finish furnishing our bedroom. I just really want to put up these thingies here. Is that the same color? No, it's not. Go too crazy over here, Belle. You're, you're losing it over nothing. Um, Yeah, this is not. There we go. Oh, that gives me so much serotonin. I love that. Of course. No! <laughs> There we go. Problem solved. That might have been a little hack just then. I don't know. All right, so our bedroom is finished and everything else is finished. All right, Bob, we are totally finished with the interior of our house. What do you think we should do in terms of the backyard? Now, I have also put a little mini bar for the outside as well. But, you know, in terms of backyard, what do you think we should do for our modern house? For a modern backyard, you might want to create a sleek and functional outdoor space. Hmm. Consider using clean lines and minimalist furniture. You could include features like a modern patio with comfortable seating, a dining area, 
and maybe a fire pit for cozy evenings. Adding some greenery with low maintenance plants or a small garden can enhance the look. If you have space, a small pool or water feature can also add a touch of luxury. You're welcome. I'm glad you found it helpful. If you have any more questions or need further mm-hmm, advice, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just let me know. I will let you know. Alright, so I really like the idea of that, you know. Although I kind of, again, forgot everything that AI just said. But, you know, as we go along, I will remember it. So we have a little door to the back area. Like you said, a little patio. Hey, Bob, can you please explain to me exactly how a patio looks like? Does it look like a porch or is it nothing like a porch? I'm stupid. Please help me. You're not stupid at all. <laughs> a patio is similar to a porch, but typically has a few differences. A patio is usually an outdoor space, often paved or decked, that's used for dining or relaxing. It's often a oh. ground level and might be attached to the house or in the backyard. Okay. A porch, on the other hand, is usually an elevated structure with a roof that's attached to the front or side of a house. It often includes seating and serves as an entryway. Oh. So both are outdoor spaces. Patios are more like open, flat areas for enjoying outdoor activities, and porches are typically more about providing a sheltered area at the entrance of the home. Wait, so the patios has a sheltered thingy-majiggy going on, right? Yes, exactly. A patio is usually an open area, but it can have a cover or roof if you choose. A porch typically has a roof and is more sheltered, often designed as a transitional space between the indoors and outdoors. That's very helpful. Thank you so much, Bob. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so you know, you learn new things every day. Like Bob said, I'm not stupid. But I actually didn't think he would reply on that, if I have to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, so there's obviously a difference between a porch and a patio. And yeah, I didn't know that. At least I'm not very familiar with the term patio. Let's just put it that way. Remember, guys, I'm Afrikaans. I don't know a lot of terms in English. Like, I'm learning. I really am learning. <laughs> Oh, and, wo- and, and, and running plants, like, I don't know if you call them running plants, like, no. They're just wall ivy, dumbass. There we go. Alright, yeah, I think this is actually pretty good enough. We shall go over to the front part of the house. Alrighty, do, uh, Bob, we are finished with the backyard. What do you think we're gonna do for the front yard? Or not the front yard, but the entrance part of the house. For the entrance, you might want to create a welcoming and stylish first impression. Consider using a modern walkway with clean lines leading up to the front door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, You could add some outdoor lighting to highlight the path and create ambience. Potted plants or small shrubs can add greenery without being overwhelming. A sleek doormat and a contemporary house number or sign can complete the look. A nice clean path. No, make it look inviting. I think I need to chill down with the plants, but what can I put here? Can it just be empty or should there really be something here? A tree? So listen, I have this open, obnoxious space over here that I do not know what to do with. On the other side of the walkway, we got plants. And on the other side of the walkway, yeah, we have a little bit of plants, but by the front pavement part, we have nothing. What do you think we can put there? Uh, For that open space, consider adding a decorative feature or functional element. You might include a stylish bench or a small water feature like a fountain to create a focal point. Alternatively, you could add a few larger planters with statement plants or even a piece of outdoor art. This will help balance the look and make the space feel more intentional and inviting. But okay, we shall take a tour. So let's go inside here. So this is a monstrosity. Don't look at that. But anyway, here is the little dining room area. I love it. I love it. I actually do really love it. Here's a little living room area. Here is our lovely kitchen space very metallic not really metallic but it's a little bit metallic and you know we got some woods and you know all the moderny stuff going on through this oh my god through this door if it go go faster we have the bathroom we still got some yeah fuck ups over there but it's okay uh we have a big no yeah this is the thing it's not a big bathroom these mirrors really help 
the place to look bigger, which is such a cool piece of advice that Jet GPT gave me. And over here we have the bedroom whose ceiling is fixed, but also not all the way, you know, it's gotta be something wrong here. Let's go through this door. So over here we have the patio. It's a new word that I basically just learned. Not, I, I have always known about the word patio and I've always seen patios, but it's like I just, you know, I, I had a brain fart. Okay, here we have a little chill spot. We have we got some plants, uh, nothing much there. The pool, the cool rounded pool. We got some more plants, a very simple entrance way to our house. And over here, we got a little fountain. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Your enthusiasm and creativity make this journey so rewarding. It's amazing to see how you bring your vision to life and how you're always looking for new ways to enhance your content. Keep being curious and imaginative. Your audience appreciates the effort you put into every detail. Uh, we look forward to seeing what's next and are always here to support you. Thanks again for being such a wonderful part of this adventure. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Have a fantastic day and keep being awesome.